40 seconds into flight, we'll decrease power on the two side boosters in preparation for maximum aerodynamic loads on the vehicle. Once we get through this period, Falcon Heavy will throttle back up to power on the side boosters. Once we get two minutes into flight, we will again reduce thrust on the two side boosters. At this point in time, the vehicle is much lighter, having burned all, much of the propellant, but the thrust is constant, so the acceleration, hence the loads, are continuing to increase. So we will reduce thrust on the side boosters to decrease forces on the rocket structure. When we get two and a half minutes into flight, we'll thoroughly turn off the side boosters, an event called BECO, booster engine cutoff. The pneumatic separation system on the center core then unlocks the two side boosters and pushes them away. You've just heard the call out. They're going to begin retracting the clamp arms as part of the TE strongback retract sequence. Meanwhile, back in the ascent sequence of event, once we get the side boosters separated from the center core, the center core will throttle up to full power. It'll run another 55 seconds. Finally, at just past three and a half minutes after liftoff, the center core will shut down, called main engine cutoff, Miko, the second stage separates. From this point on, it's like a Falcon 9 mission, other than we're having three boosters all returning to Earth at the same time. The fairing will separate, the second stage engine fires twice, eventually sending the stage and payload out into geosynchronous transfer orbit around the Earth. So that gives you a feel for the sequence of events we're planning to demonstrate on this flight of the Falcon Heavy. Everybody right now is reporting things look nominal. The checkout sequences are good. We're closing out propellant load at T minus three minutes and 16 seconds and counting. Let's watch and listen in to the final countdown of Falcon Heavy. Strongback side retract angle is 88.3 degrees. Falcon Heavy is on internal power. Ground gas closeouts is starting. Minus 30 seconds. Minus 15 seconds. Vehicle's flight pressures. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, let's go. Three seconds into flight under the power of 5.1 million pounds of throttle. Falcon Heavy is headed to space. We're throttling down at T plus 40 seconds to prepare for maximum dynamic pressure. Power telemetry on nominal. We're hearing reports. Power and telemetry are nominal. Vehicle is supersonic. You may have heard the call out on Side net one. Vehicle is supersonic. Side boosters are throttling back up on power as we're Max through Q. the period of maximum dynamic pressure. <laughs> Trajectory looking good. You can hear the applause behind me as we've gotten past maximum dynamic pressure. Next event coming up is chillin' of the MVAC-D engine. Get the turbo pump ready to ignite the main engine on the second stage in another couple of minutes. Merlin engine performance looks good. We've begun dropping power on the side boosters to decrease loads on the center core. Second load limiting shutdown. Continuing to decrease loads to minimize acceleration on the Falcon Heavy structure. Coming up on booster engine cutoff called BECO and separation of the two side boosters. And back engine chill. BECO. Booster separation confirmed. Successful separation if you can hear me over the cheering. Side booster is now beginning a flip to begin returning back to Cape Canaveral. Side boosters have begun the boost back burn. The center core has throttled back up to power. Everything looking good on the flight of Falcon Heavy. The next major event, main engine cutoff of the center core and separation ignition of the second stage. Bottom middle view shows the view looking up into the nozzle of the second stage engine. Miko. Main engine cutoff, center core is shut down. Separation confirmed. Again, over the cheering, MVAC D engine up on power. It looks good. Side boosters looking good, still burning on their way back to Cape Canaveral. Grid fins are out on the center core. Fairing separation confirmed. Here comes the fairing separation, and there it goes. We also have successful shutdown of the side booster boost back burn. So T plus four minutes, 25 seconds into flight, side boosters on their way back to Cape Canaveral, center core coasting Stage out over two, the Atlantic. Nominal. Stage two looking good with a nominal trajectory. And as you guys have noticed, the grid fins have deployed on the side boosters as well as the center core. 
Those work to help guide the boosters back to a nice targeted soft landing. Let's see those heading home right now. As a reminder, today we'll be attempting to recover all three of the first stage cores, and all three boosters are currently on their way heading home. In just a few minutes, the side boosters will execute an entry burn, followed by a landing burn, and the center core will do much the same a few minutes later. Both burns are meant to slow the stage's speed down rapidly before landing. At the time of separation, the side boosters were traveling slow enough to turn around and make their way Stage back to land at our side-by-side -side landing pads. The center core, on the other hand, is going too fast to efficiently return to the Cape, so we're using our autonomous drone ship. Of course, I still love you. If we have a successful landing today, the side boosters will be reflown on our next Falcon Heavy mission, STP-2. Now, coming up at about T plus six minutes will be the side booster's re-entry burn. Acquisition of signal Bermuda. So you'll see the side boosters on your left and right screen. Side booster entry burn has started. And there's the re-entry burn beginning. Stage two trajectory nominal. And the re-entry burn is complete for the side boosters. Now coming up in about 30 seconds, the center core, which you see on your center screen, will begin its re-entry burn. Entry burn has started. Side boosters are transonic. And there you can see the re-entry burn for center core has begun. Coming up in about five seconds here, the side boosters landing burn will begin as well. Now we're waiting for the engine to shut down on the second stage and for the center core to land. Now if all goes well, we'll have successfully recovered all three boosters, which we have never done before. Now coming up in about 20 seconds, we're going to listen for confirmation of SECO-1 or second engine cutoff Church 1. Ship, AOS. Back shut down. And we have confirmation. Center core now we're just waiting to hear good down. orbit. Nominal orbit insertion. And we have that confirmed. Good orbit. Now coming up here in about 15 seconds will be the center core landing burn beginning. So again, as we mentioned earlier, this is going to be a challenging landing. Stage one, landing and we are starting landing on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. And
Looks like we lost the live view. Waiting for some confirmation and it sounds like we landed the center core on our drone ship book. We have landed the center core for the first time on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. For the first time, we've landed all three boosters for Falcon Heavy. What an amazing day. So now we are going to take a quick break. You can hear our crowd going wild. Three for three boosters today on Falcon Heavy. What an amazing accomplishment. So now the primary mission is still going well. We are about to take, we are about to enter the coast space, so we're going to take a quick break. But we'll leave you with an animation that shows you where we are throughout the coast space. We will be back at about T plus 26 minutes for second stage relight and the deployment of our satellite.